Welcome. This is David Bowles, Human Meme. Today's topic, Marcus Aurelius on Meditations. Marcus Aurelius was the emperor of Rome from 161 to 180, and he was considered one of the five good emperors. Marcus Aurelius was thoughtful and intellectual, and he believed in living a right life of the mind. Marcus Aurelius spent time alone to think about the world and his place in it. And he memorialized those thoughts, not for us, but for himself. All in a twelve-book wonder others have modernly titled Meditations and his writing provides a great look into the mind of a grand emperor author, sharing leadership and civility. Begin thy morning with these thoughts. I shall meet the meddler, the ingrate, the scorner, the hypocrite, the envious man, the cynic. These men are such because they know not to discern the difference between good and evil. But I know that goodness is beauty, and that evil is loathsomeness, not only physically, but in a unity of intelligence and in participation in the divine nature. Therefore I know that I cannot be harmed by such persons, nor can they thrust upon me what is base. I know, too, that I should not be angry with my kinsmen, nor hate them, because we are all made to work together fitly, like the feet, the hands, the eyelids, the rows of the upper and the lower teeth. To be at strife, one with another, is therefore contrary to our real nature, and to be angry with one another, to despise one another, is to be at strife with one another." The collection of Marcus Aurelius' meditations allows us, the regional common folk of the future, to encapsulate the mind of a great leader in amber, who knew what was valued and valuable. Marcus Aurelius clearly wanted to leave something behind, to be remembered, to mark where he fell, to erase where he stood, to get back up again. Marcus was an emperor, but his writing style is plain and straightforward, as if he is sharing undiscovered wisdom that matters beyond the debriding. Marcus Aurelius examines the self in relation to the universe. What is beyond the heavens? Have we tumbled from the earth? We all have a purpose, Marcus argues, because we are natural and of the earth, and we spin in a life like a leaf on the wind. Only to return back to Mother Nature's eternal cradle of the circular life. Now let's share some of Marcus Aurelius' meditations, as many of them closely reflect the intention and purpose of this very human meme podcast. And in this podcast, are we celebrating the genius of the Marcus Aurelius past, or are we merely discovering what is already known? How do we begin to even know how to become smarter than the smartest person on earth? We only know what we know. And we never know what we do not know what we do not know. Here are three thoughts Marcus Aurelius wrote in Meditations to share with us about goodness. The happiness of your life depends upon the quality of your thoughts. And he wrote this, Everything we hear is an opinion, not a fact. Everything we see is a perspective, not the truth. And finally, this. Waste no more time arguing about what a good man should be. Be one. 
And what of the spinning world and the dizziness of human advancement against the whims of the rhythms of Mother Nature? Well, Marcus Aurelius suggested this. Frightened of change? But what can exist without it? What's closer to nature's heart? Can you take a hot bath and leave the firewood as it was? Eat food without transforming it? Can any vital process take place without something being changed? Now here's a favorite quote of mine about the weight and the status of the soul. You are a little soul carrying about a corpse, as Epictetus used to say. What did Marcus Aurelius have to share about kindness and evildoers? Well, he knew they would always be among us. A nobleman compares and estimates himself by an idea which is higher than himself, and a mean man by one lower than himself. The one produces aspiration, the other ambition, which is the way a vulgar man aspires. Marcus Aurelius continues his analysis of evil in a garden of goodness when he wrote this. Tell yourself, the people I deal with today will be meddling, arrogant, dishonest, jealous, and surly. They are like this because they cannot tell good from evil. But I have seen the beauty of good and the ugliness of evil, and have recognized that the wrongdoer has a nature related to my own, not of the same blood or birth, but the same mind, and possessing a share of the divine. Selfish people are nothing new, and Marcus Aurelius pins them down inside their own festering. Some people, when they do someone a favor, are always looking to call it in. And some aren't, but they're still aware of it, still regard it as a debt. But others don't even do that. They're like a vine that produces grapes without looking for anything in return. Now that last quote reminds me of something I used to tell my students. Be a blank sheet of paper and allow others to write on you. You aren't evaluating what they put down. You're just accepting the truth of what they know. And so, in the end, Marcus Aurelius rotates us back from whence we came. Soon you'll be ashes or bones, a mere name at most, and even that is just a sound, an echo. The things we want in life are empty, stale, trivial. And in closing of this Human Meme Podcast, we take this next hard wisdom from Marcus Aurelius with gratitude. And we must each hammer it into a medallion for the bright wearing in public against our human heaving heart as it dangles from our necks. People exist for one another. You can instruct or endure them. You participate in a society by your existence. Then participate in its life through your actions. All your actions. Any action not directed toward a social end is a disturbance to your life an obstacle to wholeness, a source of dissension. To enter other minds, let them enter yours first. Thank you for listening. Be a human meme. <laughs>